Uh oh, okay, I think I'm recording now. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Well, this game is trash, so it's not really suitable to be played by anyone, to be honest. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. I mean, just having started this game, I already feel really depressed, so... Wait, I can skip this? Uh, I agree. Awesome. What am I doing with my life? Ugh. I was told this had a good soundtrack, because one of the tags was good soundtrack, but this is not good music already. So this is this is supposed to be this really scary game that's not supposed to make itself known to be a scary game despite the fact that one of the first tags that comes up says that it's a really scary game please enter my name uh shulk dies can't I have a space bar in it i'll put a dash then but you can't have a dash either what so you only, have, you, only have, you only have a first name. Can you, can you have anything? An underscore? No. That's it. That's it. Then Shulk dies. Hey. I see an annoying. I like this guy already. I, I, I like myself already. This guy is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works because you've known each other so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting in high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. It's probably really quiet as I'm talking so far away from my recorder and I sound like I'm dying. And my chair is really creaky, so I've got to start moving this. This background's really ugly. That road looks awful. It looks like... It's so flat colour and textureless that it doesn't look like a normal road. But anyway, I, I should probably keep on going here. If you're going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. So, uh, I want to run away from this game. How I just sigh and lie in front of my sword because it's going to catch up to me. Ha ha. <sighs> and so it begins. I have slept again. I wish you never woke up, to be honest. Have I caught you this time? Maybe, but I'm just like, sorry for the stop and wait for you. Eh, you say it like that. Were you thinking of ignoring me? Yeah, I was. I was thinking of ignoring this game, to be honest. That's mean. Shulk dies. Oh, hey, don't spoil Xenoblade. Some of you haven't played it yet. Well, if people say it's acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in too mean have it in you too mean if you if you wanted to. Whatever you say. Ehehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near this is really boring. <laughs> By the way, Shulk dies. <laughs> Can't do this. <laughs> I have a cold already, I don't want to die. Uh, by the way, Shulk dies! Oh, thanks for telling me. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I told you already, I'm not really interested in playing this game. I haven't been looking, either. Eh? Why do you keep shrinking? Stop, it's weird. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. I'm really sarcastic, just like myself. She likes to worry a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on, right, on games and anime. I mean, that's somewhat similar to me, except I don't watch anime. I only watch really good anime like Sword Art Online. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialise or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Well, your life's not really important to me. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die. Yeah, I know you're going to die. <laughs> what are going to need in the future because you're not used to the real world? You trust me, right? No, I don't. Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. <coughs> no promises, though. 
We at least promised we would find it. No. Oh, shut up, shulk eyes. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by a carefree girl? Why do I let myself play trashy games? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself out to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about it makes you want to ease her mind a little bit. Has that gone off? Has my recorder just turned itself off? Stupid thing. No, I think we're still going. We're still going. We're still good. This really isn't good music. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. I'm going to assume it's already over, otherwise you're the only person in your class with no teacher, learning nothing. None of the pieces of paper on the wall have anything written on them. <coughs> There's no scenery outside. We're in the blank, empty void. This is... this is... this... the effort that was put into this game is flawless. I have so much respect for whoever made... No, I do not, I don't. Oh, I, I probably should have been reading that writing. It's, it, uh, wait, no, it's not important. And clubs. I guess I have no choice to start the anime club. Hello? I look around and realise I'm the only one left in the classroom. You had to look around to realise that? I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you sitting here as being outside. I came in. Honestly, even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up until you're like, blah, 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 blah. No, no what? No, you can come to my club! Yeah! <laughs> so, <laughs> roll credits, that's the end of the game. And so he refused, and yeah. Oops, yeah, chair creaking again, lol. Eh, uh, meany. So he's vice president of the literature club. Well, I am not going there because I hate English literature so much with a burning passion. Oh, I thought it was not that I had. I thought it was going to say not that I ever had any interest in literature, which case I'd agree. In fact, I'm ninety nine percent sure she only did it because she thought it'd be fun. Since she was the first one to show interest, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed. I completely agree. The anime, the anime club, but we're already anime, so or you're already anime. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I bring a new member, and that Suki made cupcakes and everything. Ehehe. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sora is that much of an airhead or if she's just cunning to have planned this all out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> that was more of a yawn, but fine. I'll stop wherever a cupcake. And okay. Yay, let's go. Just, it's just... And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul. I dejected... <laughs> <coughs> I dejectedly follow uh, across the room a section of the... S and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. And being generally used to... Uh, yeah, um, I'm not... Oh, shut up, Discord. Sayori's full of energy swings open the class door. Everyone, the new member is here. Yep. Hello, absolutely everybody, as you can clearly see. There's so many people here. This is a really, really popular club. I would say I understand why you're vice president, but that implies there's somebody else here and there's no one here. So I was thinking maybe you're the only person in this club and that's why you're so desperate for you to join up. Actually, you know, at least there's actually stuff on the pieces of paper here. That, that I can actually applaud. That's there, there's We're getting a bit more detailed now. I told you, don't call me new member. Eh? I glanced around the room. Oh, she's unpleasant. I mean, she's got a plastic outfit on, just like the rest of them, and she's incredibly shiny. It's a pleasure meeting you. Girl one. Hello, girl one. Girl two. Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> More killing references. Clever. Ah, Shulk dies. What a nice surprise. <laughs> it just gets worse. Ah, Shulk dies. That is a really nice surprise that Shulk dies. I completely agree. Welcome to the club. You look really angry. You're sort of clenching your fists and like holding them down like a really angry pose. 
dot dot dot. All words escape me in this situation. <laughs> this club is full, what, there's three of them. That's not really full, that's three people and none of them are very attractive at all. I mean, she just looks, she just looks, I mean, I'm guessing this one's Monica, because I've seen some memes. She looks just really depressed, like, the emptiness in those eyes is just, I don't know what the, what the word is, but it's really obvious. She just looks really bland and boring, and she just looks like someone's depressed mother. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. But I don't think you want to hear what I have to say because it will probably make you kill yourself. Even though you're probably going to kill yourself anyway. Or are you, are you are you that one that doesn't kill yourself? Sorry, Suki. Humph. A girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparent. Suki is one I don't recognise. Her small figure thinks she thinks she's probably a fan. She's also the one who made cupcakes. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Wow, you you look really big compared to the, this other person. Anyway, I miss you in the sports and the club. Don't say things like that. Oh, bland, boring tropes. You're mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time. Oh well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already. I, actually, I, I kind of did. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually quite true. <coughs> For the wrong reasons, I'm sure. But it's great to see you again. Uh, she see you again. Shulk dies. That was, that was, that was really creepy. Why are you making such a weird, uh, why have you shrunk? We do know we're really taught, but we were in the same class last year. She was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, uh, she's not beautiful at all. She's just, look at this stupid, depressed emptiness in her eyes. And her gravity-defying hair. So, having a smile at me feel, a uh, smile at me so genuinely feels depressing. Come sit down. Shulk dies. I'm going to room view at the table so you can sit down next to me or no. Oh, get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry. I got a little too excited. This is really cliche. Then how about I make some tea as well? Oh, how quintessentially British you are. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. No, they don't. They're all array, uh, arranged like they're taking some British exam. And if this is a literature club, why are what I assume to be bookshelves filled with absolutely no books whatsoever? As Sayori mentions, it's been widened so there is one space. Can they have at least like shown this or drawn a different background? Still feeling awkward, I take a seat. Okay, are you ready? That is a really ugly thing. What? I don't... I mean, I get it's supposed to be, like, subtle... I don't know, unpleasant imagery, but they just... The, the contrast of this red and pink just looks really, I don't know, bloody in some way. Uwa! This is a four trays of a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, little pieces of chocolate we used to make ears. So unbelievably hideous. I had no idea you were so good at baking. I'll have to kill you for that later. Can't have you having any attractive properties to you. Or property, pro properties now, they're, they're, they're just objects. Yeah, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Oh no, she has that little, the Delphia tooth. I followed. It's delicious. Uh, I turn the cupcake around my fingers, waiting for the best angle to take a bite. <laughs> I love how the one button that's a different colour is skip, just implying the, is that greyed out because I can't click it, or is that greyed out because it's like, please click skip so you can skip this game. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavour. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really bad. Thank you. Wait, uh, I'm confused. Why, why, I'm, I'm, oh, I, I, I'm not reading this properly at all. Haven't I heard something before? Manager or anything. 
I thought you technically did. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, you, Dammy. Oh, she's one of those, what are they, I can't pronounce that word. I give up on this game. Yuri returns the table carrying a tea set. She p carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. I love the really boring details of everything. She carefully puts down this tea set. Can't you just put it down and continue with the game? You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers that don't actually exist gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you to enjoy a good book? No, because I don't like tea and I don't tend to read. Ah, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Does everyone say that? Don't let yourself get intimidated. She's just trying to impress you and I won't allow that so I'll get her killed later. Eh? Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. Wow, this game just knows me so well. Yuri faintly smiles herself in relief. Walter raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. Ha ha ha, subtle foreshadowing. So, what made you consider the literature club? I'm not even considering it. I just wanted to play this game so I can hate on something. Because I've been playing a really good game right now. I need something to be negative about because it keeps me healthy. Um. <laughs> I can't laugh because it makes me die. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. But I'm probably going to do it anyway. Oh... I'm disappointed. We make sure you feel right at home. No, you won't. Don't lie to me, you flipping little... As president of the Richard Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? Well, it wasn't that hard because there's only four of us. You could probably be a board member of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader for the debate club last year? Ah ha ha, well, you know. Dude, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Got nothing but arguing about the budget and public... Well, you know how to hack into the game files or something. Why don't you just erase those people from the game so they can't talk about politics anymore? Wouldn't that just work so much better? Or, or can I not find out that you can erase characters yet? You wouldn't be saying that in a few hours' time. But I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way, but this club only has four people. <laughs> Not many people here are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. <coughs> yeah, I'm sure you mean that in more ways than one. Especially when it's something that doesn't, yeah, it doesn't grab my attention. I don't know why I took it at A level, to be honest. I already dropped it. You have to work hard to convince people they're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like festival like that much more important. I can't read today. I'm confident we can all grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? No. No, we won't. I hate you. Go and die. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Now, she probably already knew them, and they were probably the only people interested in reading, so she just dragged them into this really basic club. Maybe that's why they were so delighted. But if you weren't, I mean, she hated me the one on the left, for starters. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Well, it won't be that hard to keep up with at least half of them, because they'll be dead soon, so don't you worry. So, shoulders, what kind of things do I like to read? Um, instruction manuals. Well, uh, obviously, this cringy weeb. I mutter quite a half joking. It looks like she'll say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. <laughs> that must just be like. The biggest just kicking the teeth. Oh, he's been he's 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 come to this club and he doesn't read. Oh, 
That's disappointing. Oh, that can change. What are you saying? Oh, it can't. Anyway, what about you? Well, let's see. Build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Deep and complex. I like this game. <laughs> the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. I should probably end this soon because I've been going for 20 minutes already. I'll go into like 25 minutes. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Blah, 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 blah. She likes reading. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories of deep psychological. I'll look more hinting at what this game is. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a... I thought you need a good imagination to enjoy books, really. Or you tend to, anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! This game's not even trying. Ah, I read a horror book once. It was called, um, Hillary Rodham Clinton, What Happened? <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> Oh dear. Really? I wouldn't have expected that. I'm not as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But for the story most of the I know that I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is already fucking very successful. Uh, I hate horror. Well, you're in the wrong game then, lady. You might want to go and get out. Oh, well, no, I forgot you are going to get out of this game soon. Literally get out of this game, probably. Unless you're the one that doesn't, who knows. Well, I just... Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, so not yourself then. What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last night, and on it was a really badly drawing picture of me and caption, I hate this woman. It looked like you're working on a poem called Next to Of Course Not America I. Don't say out loud and give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you clearly are not. Oh, those shoulders. I'm not cute. No, I'm just a generic anime trope. You write your own poems? Oh, I, that was me saying it. Yeah, I do sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. You're really... I'm really bad at sounding interested. Why don't you share them sometime? No. You wouldn't like them. Well, I hate poetry, so I probably wouldn't. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is... The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Shut up. <laughs> this just sounds so generic and stupid. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them the deepest reaches of... Do you have writing experience too? I guess it's the same. Oh, I wanted to read everyone. I didn't. We all sit in the silence for a moment. We all sit in the corner and think about what we've done. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. What? Girl 1 and Girl 2. Look at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then the next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. No. Yeah. It's <laughs> one of them's interested. <laughs> I guess she has to look interested, otherwise it's going to look really bad on me. Like, oh no, this is a really uninteresting and dying club. I, I better try and make it sound interesting. Plus, now that we have a new... She just grew. That was really weird. I think it would all help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Shulk dies? There's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back to the joining the club, I bluntly come forth for the entire time. I never said I would join this club. <laughs> it's a minor main decision. And so that comes to get and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. They all look so sad and depressed. This is a really good time to just end the video and never play the game again. In fact, you know what? I'm actually going to end this video right here, right now.